He's Todd Engel. I'm Jim Rupert. That's Walter Payton. And sweetness. this is a football. And we, we, cho- <laughs> we, chose the sweet, we chose the sweetness theme because this is sweet week number nine <laughs> of high school football. Thanks for clarifying that, by the way. Uh, I, uh, we need some uh, of our readers, some of our, our viewers are not, if, if they're watching us, they're not informed, perhaps. Oh. Give us our headliner from the Central State A Conference football after week football. eight. Uh, I'll, go with, uh, I'll go with West Lawn out to uh, Rochester. A lot of big performers in, in week eight, but... Uh, Glenwood was the last major hurdle between Rochester and an undisputed, uh, undefeated season there, and he went uh, 16 of 28, 301 yards, uh, or one yard, I guess. Uh, four touchdowns, no picks, and he's only thrown one pick all year, which is really insane because he's up to like 177 attempts now. Um, but, uh, you know, the Rochester played well, but, you know, uh, Tyrell Bolden had a huge day, Pat Smith had a huge day. Tommy Moore at Lanfear had a huge day, but uh, throwing screen passes to hey, Everett Clements, whatever works, and it, and it, and it worked. I saw it; it worked. <laughs> but uh, I'll, I'll go with uh, Lunt in the in the game that uh, you know Rochester wanted to sort of really cement uh, all the work they've done. One question mark game this week, and that's Taylorville Jacksonville. That's mm-hmm. probably the one that, that that's going to determine whether the Central State Eight gets five, f- four teams in or five teams in, right? Yeah, three Glenwood, Springfield, Jackson, SHG. Glenwood, Rochester, Springfield High. Four are already four in. Four already in. So that'll be the difference between Glenwood five. Glenwood needs to beat Lanfear to yeah. lock up their to spot. But I think they have enough playoff yeah. points. Yeah. Uh, you're going to be at Jacksonville to see mm-hmm. Taylorville and Jacksonville. Yeah. Um, and, and this is the same You know, this is the same boat that uh, Jacksonville was in last year. It's one they tried to avoid. Mm-hmm. You know, they wanted to try to win six so they wouldn't have to sweat it out. Um, and really, it just all comes down. Last year, you had a record number of uh, six win teams, which led to a record number of five win teams getting left out of the playoffs. Mm-hmm. Um, it, I think Jacksonville's at 35. They'll get at least 37 if they beat Taylorville, and then it all depends on how the teams they beat. If they beat anybody, where they're not, mm-hmm. you know, that number goes up. Right now, I mean, they're firmly on the bubble. Explain playoff points. Playoff points. It, basically, you get points for the teams that you beat. The wins they have, or the teams you play, the wins okay, they have. So you have to beat them to get points. Exactly. Uh, Jack, SHG is worth no playoff points to Jacksonville mm-hmm. because they lost they SHG. Lost them, yeah. Okay. So they need to, they need a number to go up, and it really just depends on, uh, you know, the number of who wins, who does what, and it's it, it's one of those things where I, you know they might have an idea, they might not. Last year they were pretty pretty sure that unless some crazy stuff happened, they'd miss the playoffs, and they're right. And this year. You know, we'll have to see, first of all, if they can take care of business. But if they do, then they'll start breaking up the calculators and seeing what they can find out. We know SHG is in the playoffs. Mm -hmm. What kind of momentum does SHG? That that, that has to be a great boost to what what they did last week against a real good 4A modern day team. Yeah, absolutely. Um, You know, they'll they'll finish up against Lincoln. and and, And looking at it, I think the difference this year, and I don't know, two things. One... They, they've improved this year, and they were really a one-dimensional team. When they started out, they didn't know who was going to throw the ball, mm-hmm. how well they could throw it. Well, and they've got that balance back that they've been, they've been known for. And two, the other thing, they've lost regular season games before. They haven't lost one in conference. Mm-hmm. And you don't know how much of a wake-up call that is. But since that point, they've really played well. You know, they, they handled Springfield High pretty well, just blew the doors off of modern day, and they've been taking care of business. And this whole time, They've added that throwing dimension, which they didn't really have. We didn't know in. if they had. Well, yeah. Yeah. And, you know, settling on Pat Smith was a big deal. And then just figuring out ways to, to get the ball and, and sort of getting him confident was a big deal, too. And you can sort of see that they're operating with that same level of of uh, confidence. And the defense might even be a little bit better than last year, just in terms of from what I've seen. I mean, their most... I think their highest points allowed was, was 23 against... Or 20 against Landfear. And I know... One score was was after the game was far out of hand. One score was set up by an early fumble, and mm-hmm. one was happened after Lanfear completed tipped passes on back to back plays. It sort of worked out. So they've been playing good defense. It almost seems like cheating that Rochester gets to play in the four A playoffs now almost. after what they've gone through. They won't complain though. No, they won't complain. They won't and, complain. And, and there's, I mean, I suppose there's a chance they could be three A. Yeah, it it all depends. Uh, apparently, I've looked at it. There's a a big number of one A schools, and. Uh, that you know, if if those schools, a lot of more of the smaller schools qualify, that'll tend to push everybody up. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Right now, I think they'll be four A, and uh, 
you know, from what I saw against Modern Day, I can't see Modern Day giving them a game, I think. Yeah. Honestly, it depends on whether or not Metamora's for a. There'll be a yeah. tough test. Yeah. And then if you look at the schedule, uh, Quincy Notre Dame, they have a couple of losses, but they played Richwoods and they played some really high quality teams mm -hmm. up there. So right now, depending on the brackets, I would guess that your uh, de facto, if not semifinal game, will probably be Rochester QD. Springfield High is in the playoffs again. They got six wins. Mm -hmm. have, have we seen. A change in trend where where do they seem to be going into the into the end of the year? Bloomington Central Catholic won't be a walkover. That won't be mm -hmm. a that, that that's they got the last non conference game of the year. Mm -hmm. But but do you see them as more on an uptick? They're healthy. Yeah. They're, they're playing a little bit better going into the postseason this year. Yeah, I think so. And I'll you know we'll know more after Friday night. Um, I'd like to see them sort of handle their business against uh, BCC before giving a, a firm one. But what they're doing you know is they're just not. Like you said, they're they're healthy. They're taking care of business like they should be this year. Um, whatever you know, they seem to really rebound from that Rochester game, which you know, I don't know last year after they played really bad against SHG, they never quite recovered. Mm -hmm. And then you know the same year, same thing with and two years ago. It seems like they sort of yeah. trended downward after that loss there. But um, you know they've rebounded. They've they've you know taken all the ifs out of the playoff equation. They've got that taken care of. Mm -hmm. And uh, you know if they can handle their business. It'd be cool to see him get a home playoff. Seven wins, seven wins put you in a lot better shape to get a home yeah, one than, than six. Um, playoff pairings come out Friday night or Saturday night. We'll have all the reports on where people are going in the Sunday State Journal Register, and next week we'll talk about where and who those Central State A conference teams are playing. So we're not going away yet. Come back and say hi to the football. It misses you.